Hey, today is all about purchasing a second home or a vacation home. But before I do that, I wanna take you on a quick tour of the Puget Sound to showcase a couple of hot spots where people buy second homes and vacation homes, and I'm gonna show you why they buy them. And then I'm also gonna take you on a Pacific Northwest Puget Sound shrimping adventure. This is going to be a great video. Hop on and let's go take a ride. Hey guys, so today we're talking second homes and there's no better way, in my opinion, to talk second homes, buying a second home or buying a vacation home than to be out here doing what I love to do, shrimping. These are spot prawns. But let's real quick talk about buying a second home. Over here, we have got the backside of the San Juan Islands and Victoria, British Columbia. Behind me, we have got the backside of Whidbey Island and then over here, we have the Kitsap Peninsula. These are all very common places for people to purchase second homes. So what does it take to buy a second home? You need a minimum of 10% down, and most people just use a standard 30-year fixed rate mortgage. The big thing with second homes is they kind of have a bad rap here. In January of 2022, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac came in and they said, hey, we don't want people buying second homes anymore. It's too easy and the interest rates are too attractive. So what they did is they made the cost for second homes relative to interest rate just a little bit higher. Don't let that stop you from buying your vacation home of your dreams or your second home. So whether you use it as an investment home, an Airbnb it or rent it out, or you use it as a second home and keep it for down the road and occasionally maybe use it as an Airbnb or VRBO, this is perfect second home territory. Now, as a bonus, I'm gonna sit down with Nate Fent and we're gonna talk about the recipe that Nate uses for catching these bad boys and we're gonna show you how to do it too. All right, so how do you catch 80 of these bad boys? The recipe is what makes the big difference. So Nate, Nate Fenton, one of the top outdoorsmen that I know, we salmon fish together. I don't hunt, but he's a great hunter. Just an outdoorsman extraordinaire. He's got a pretty cool recipe he's gonna share with you guys today. And uh, how do we do this? All I did is I take these shrimp pellets that you buy at an at a, uh, outdoor shop. I take the shrimp pellets and I will add them, or add to them one can of chub mackerel. I add two cans of oil tuna okay two cans of a seafood based cat food and then i will add some of their bait oil this is what it looks like when it's all done i go and i mix it up the night before or two nights before in a ziploc bag make sure you double bag because this stuff stinks the key to getting good crab shrimp and all that is to have fresh and so what I do is I try to get, have the, my ingredients be as fresh as I can. I put them in the fridge, I mix it up the night before, yep. move the bag around a couple times so the pellets absorb the moistures and the smells. And then when I come out in the morning, I stuff all my jars with this and I zip tie this in the shrimp pots, send it down and with all these holes drilled out, it leaches out and then it produces that. Limits. We're down about 300 feet of water and we're out in the middle of nowhere. But like I said, you can find any of these maps. Give it a shot. The gear, we'll put a list in the, in the description below of the gear that Nate uses, the pots, the, how much cord, how much string, everything you need. And you're gonna wanna make sure you're on a boat with a pot puller, because these are down about 300 feet. You're not gonna wanna manually. You gotta yeah. wait them. All right, that's a wrap for today. Awesome job, Nate. And hey, remember, if you're thinking about buying a second home, reach out to me. I'll introduce you to an incredible real estate professional. And if you want a good time out here on the Puget Sound, there's also some fishing guides out here that'll help you out with this too. So reach out to me, I'd love to be a resource. We got two more pots to pull, we're out of here.